Well, succession ideas are not exactly new, and people in Maine and West Virginia know it can happen. The question becomes, should it happen? Mike Sonix is a writer at the Herald and News in Southern Oregon. He covers the greater Idaho movement, and he has his doubts. So, Mike, why do you believe redrawing state lines is not a good idea? I, I think it just faces a, a lot of a lot of challenges. Um, like you said at, at the start, uh, it has to get approval from from both uh, legislatures, both states, and then Congress would have to approve it also. And I, I don't think Democrats in Oregon, who who run the state, as as uh, as Mike said, uh, are going to agree to that. They would lose congressional seats. They would lose electoral college votes to Idaho. And anything that would be based on census population, all that kind of funding would, would be diminished. Uh, so there's just a lot of obstructions uh, on the Oregon side. Uh, there's not a lot of interest, I think, in any government to give up land or give up people, you know, voluntarily like that. Now things could change. Um, we certainly see a lot of lot of sea changes over the years. This isn't going to happen tomorrow, uh, but I, I think the Oregon folks. It's not in their interest to, to let the folks go, even with the, the divide. And there is a big divide there. Uh, there's uh, Christine Drazen, the Republican, raised $22 million. They had Nike money trying to block Nike founder Phil Knight, trying to block uh, the Democrat from winning. They had a third party. She ran a, the Republican ran a really good race, and she still lost. It's very tough for anybody that opposes abortion rights or opposes gun controls to, to succeed statewide in Oregon because of the population dominance by by Portland they have all the votes up there so uh, you know certainly folks in the rural areas have a lot of frustrations we're seeing that throughout the country uh, and we've seen these before but but I don't see it has a long ways to go before we could even start talking about uh, it breaking away uh, just be electoral college alone uh, considering how close presidential elections are, congressional seats alone, I don't think Oregon would go along with that. So it is a small um, percent of the population. Mm -hmm. We outlined that, you, you reiterated that. So what do you believe that the real chances um, are of this happening? Uh, it, it would be a it would be a, a marathon more than a sprint. Um, this would be something that would have to build up over years, and we'd have to see r real fractures. And, and we and like you mentioned, we've seen these types of things come up in California, uh, Illinois, the Maryland Eastern Shore. Uh, these kind of rural Republican areas, uh, you know, feel left out by urban uh, areas that are controlled by Democrats. And Oregon has had a lot of issues with its progressive policies. Uh, Phil Knight, I mentioned before, the, the Nike founder, did not support Tina Kotek, the Democrat, because of frustrations over, over the rise in homelessness and crime and is uh, drug legalization going too far. There's a sentiment out there. It's just a lot of steps to go through to be able to, to have a state leave a state for another state. And if you look at the tax structure, tax is one thing they talk about. The Tax Foundation, which is a pretty conservative group, Oregon doesn't rank that poorly. So this isn't a California, Wyoming, or, or Utah type situation. I think one of their recent things, you know, uh, Idaho was 15th, uh, Oregon was in the 20s. Uh, Oregon doesn't have a sales tax. There would be so many things that would have to change for folks in Oregon. Uh, uh, up and down the line. Think about universities, think about school districts, think about transportation, any kind of infrastructure uh, that the state handles now. They'd have to figure out how to switch that over. All right, well, Mike, thank you. It's a lot to consider. We appreciate you making those arguments tonight. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.